Hello, CADCAM students! Today's lesson is under Part Design using Part Studios, lesson number 4, Step. So, we're drawing this today's exercise with the goal of using the rib, shell, draft, and mirror features as well as creating linear patterns. Without further ado, let's start! First, we have to create a document and name it as Step. Click on the workspace units. Change the length to millimeter and the mass to kilogram. Accept. Start a new sketch on the top plane. Right click, then view normal to sketch plane. Draw a center point rectangle. Draw a diagonal line, escape line, and make it a construction line. After that, we have to add the dimensions. So, the length is 400 millimeters, and the height is 275 millimeters. Rename this sketch as the main sketch. And accept the sketch. For better view, make it isometric. And now let's create an extrusion. Make sure it is set to solid and new, then click on the face of main sketch. Notice that the direction is going up. Change the depth to 40 millimeters and add a draft with 5 degrees. We have to make sure that the top part is narrower than the bottom. So we have to click the opposite direction, then accept the feature. Hide the planes and the origin point and rename the part to step. Let's fillet the vertical edges. Put a radius of 15 and click the vertical edges. And accept the feature. Now we want to create a traction on this. To do that, we need to cut on the top face. Start a new sketch on this top sketch plane. Right click and then view normal to sketch plane. Click on the offset tool and click on the top of the step. Now you have the offset right here on the arrow pointing outward. That's the wrong way so we have to make it inward by clicking it. Press enter and then go type 5. Accept the sketch. Create a new extrusion. Instead of new, click on the remove. Click on the propel that you're going on the last step. Change the depth to 5 mm and then accept. Now let's make the bottom part hollow. Click on the shell. Click on the face to be removed the bottom part and change the shell thickness to 5 and then accept the feature. Now we create the ribs for the traction on the top of the steps. So first create a new sketch. Click on the very top of the step, right click, then view normal to sketch and zoom in to the lower left part and sketch a line like this. Now let's turn on the main sketch and let's dimension this line. Click on the bottom horizontal line and diagonal line. Type 45, then click on the corner point and this line, type 22. Then enter and accept the sketch. Hide the main sketch. Now, let's create a rib feature. Click on the rib, then click on the sketch that you drew. 
and select step from your parts and instead of 2.5 change it to 10 and set a parallel to sketch plane it should be normal to sketch plane so this is the start of your rib now click the extend profiles to part and notice that it merged to the top of the step so that accept the feature now let's create the pattern click on linear pattern Change to Feature Pattern. Click on Rib for Features to Pattern. And click on Direction and then turn on the Main Sketch. Click on the Construction Line and notice how a pattern is already created. Change the distance to 20 mm and put 23 for your instance count. But instead of recreating the entire top pattern, we just need the rib. So click on apply for instance. And notice that the rib pattern is repeated. Accept the feature. And hide the main sketch. So now for the next feature, we need to turn on the right plane. Create a new sketch on that plane. Right click, then view normal to sketch plane. Click on the render options and choose hidden edges visible. Now sketch a line. And they mentioned that line to 5 mm from the bottom. Then accept the sketch. Change the render option back to shaded. Isometry. And then flip the step. Create a rib. Select the sketch line, change the thickness to 5, leave it to parallel to sketch plane, then extend the profiles to part. Notice how it connected to far edges. Accept the feature. Select the draft feature. Click on the top of the rib for your neutral plane. And then for the entities to draft, click on the sides. Change the draft angle to 5 degrees and accept the feature. Now, let's check your draft if it came up right. Click on Isometric. Click on the Render Options and choose Turn Section View On. For your section plane, click on this edge. And notice how this tapers down and that is the right draft that we want to do. Turn off the section view and go back to your isometric view. Hide the right plane. Now, let's create a pattern. Click on Linear Pattern and then select Feature Pattern. Select Rib 2 and Draft 1 for the features to replicate. Click on Direction. And click on this edge. Change the distance to 100 mm. Now we need two of them. And since we need two on either side, click on center. And then you will get the two ribs. Now we need two ribs along the direction of the step. Create a new sketch. 
and click the top of this rib. It should say face of rib 2. Now, right click and view normal to the sketch plane. Now, sketch 3 lines. The middle line should go through the origin. And change the middle line to construction line. And select the construction line and the two other lines and click symmetric. Click on dimensions and dimension line 1 and 3, type 100, and accept the sketch. Now let's create the rib feature. Select rib. Select the two lines. Click on parts and select the step. Change the thickness to 5 and then change this to normal to sketch plane and then extend for file to parts and accept the picture. Now let's add draft. Select the top of the ribs and then for entities to draft, you have 16 faces to choose. We have to choose this and the rest of it. So that's 16 total. Change the draft angle to 5 and accept the feature. Now let's check if we did it right. Click isometric. Turn section view on. For the section plane, click here. And notice how this toppers down. Now let's turn section view off that isometric. Now we need to create a couple of holes on the side of the step. Create a new sketch and click on this face and then view normal to sketch plane. Turn off the origin and select point. Draw three points. Turn on the main sketch. Now let's dimension the first point. So from this corner to the point, this is 50. From the bottom edge to the point, this is 20. Then add the following constraints. Click on this point and the other point and select horizontal. Click on this point and then this line and select midpoint. And then click on this point and that point and select vertical. Now the points are all fully constrained, except the sketch. Click on the whole feature. Make sure you have the following options selected. Simple, blind, ISO, clearance, M10, normal, 11, and 5 millimeters. Now, click on sketch points to place holes. And click the two points. Accept the feature. And since this is a blind hole, it just goes through this wall. It doesn't goes it doesn't go through the rest of the walls. Now let's turn on the right plane and mirror the holes. So click mirror and for the features to mirror, click holes. And for the mirror plane, click on the right plane and accept as a feature. So we need to create one last feature. Create a new sketch and click on right plane. Right click, view normal to sketch plane. Change the render option to hidden edges to visible. Select the bottom line and click use to project that line. 
Select line and draw these lines. Choose three point arc and draw an arc. Now dimension it. From the center of the arc to the center point, type 50. The height of this side is 15, and then the radius is 12. Now the sketch is all black, means it is fully defined. Accept the sketch and change the render options back to the shaded. Now, create an extrusion. Make sure solid is selected and click remove. And for the faces and sketch region to extrude, click on sketch number 6. Change the blind to true all. And notice how it creates a hole through to the other walls. Click on the second end position. And we want it to go to the other opposite direction. Change blind to through all. And notice how it created these holes on the walls in the opposite direction. Make sure merge scope is on step. Then accept the feature. Hide the right plane and the main sketch. Then isometric. Right click on step. Assign materials. And type nylon. Select nylon and then accept the material. Now you're done. Now let's go ahead and check mass properties. Select mass properties and you should get this mass. Take a screenshot showing the mass properties, your drawing, and then your name. That's all for this video. We hope that you learned something and make sure to keep in mind the tools and the features that we use because you can use them in the next exercises. Good luck and keep safe!